You ready for some video, Grizzy? Ready to be in a video? Hello, Sharon Zoo crew. This is Jamie Lee from Bird Tricks YouTube channel here with my African Grey, Cressy. She's a Congo African Grey. She actually turns 13 this month. Her birthday is on Halloween or her hatch day, I should say. So this is a YouTube channel takeover. So for those of you wondering what the heck I'm doing on Sharon Zoo's channel, uh, well, we did this takeover a while back and it went so well that Sharon asked me to do it again. So I thought of an awesome topic with the help of my little gray here, Cressy, and I thought I would do one specifically on African grays, but don't worry if you don't have an African gray, it still applies to other species of parrots as well. It's just typical for the African gray species, which is why I'm gonna focus on them today with this topic. So in general, African grays are pretty popular parrot pets and companions because of their talking abilities. Now, Cressy is not the greatest talker. No offense, Cressy, you're just not that good at it. She has other strengths. Um, however, because of their popularity and their tendencies, just their natural tendencies, uh, these guys get rehomed quite often or they develop fears and phobias that make them cage bound in the long term. Now, why this happens is African grays tend to not adapt great to captivity, meaning when there's changes or new people that join the family or whatever kind of changes you have that life throws at you, these guys don't handle it so great. And the reason that they don't is because most people don't know to do things early on that help them have the tools that they need to become more adaptable pets in general and learn how to cope with change. Just as humans learn to cope with change and some of us like it more than others and embrace it more than others, we have to give our birds the tools that they need to be able to do this as well. So from an early age, it's most ideal to do what I'm about to talk about, but if you're just starting and realize that your bird has absolutely no experience with this at all, it's not too late to start. So, I call this the noun experience. My husband Dave and I are parrot trainers. We work with people all around the world and this is one of the techniques that we really try to instill in people's brains for everybody to stop and just start doing today. <laughs> I don't know if that sentence really made sense. Anyways, you should start this technique today. It's called the noun experience. New people, places, and things and exposing your bird to it. Now, what does this mean for these guys? It means taking out a new object. It could be a pen, it could be chapstick, it could be a certain dish, it could be silicone molds that you use for muffins. It could be anything that won't harm your bird um, and is only used for the purpose of getting your bird to overcome discomfort and or fear. You're basically introducing this new object and teaching your bird that it is okay. So for example, I haven't done this for a little while with Cressy, so I'm not taking my own advice here. She's a pretty desensitized bird though. If you know anything about our channel, you know that our birds are definitely desensitized. Um, she's also a free flight parrot, so this is pretty important for us. I'm just trying to put a cap on a pen. <laughs> so I'm gonna present this pen to her. Um, and she's been on this counter for a little bit. She hasn't shown any fear, but I'm just gonna bring the pen up. Are you scared of the pen? No. She's like, give it to me, this is mine. Okay, obviously not scared of the pen. <laughs> You're hitting people with the pen. Um, so, introducing a new object, this one wouldn't count because she's just not even fearful of it. I think that cap is coming off though. Okay, let's go get a treat for you to trade because that didn't go how I thought. 
Trade? Tradesies, you gotta put the pen down. She's like, let me just check it out a little longer. There we go. Good trade. All right. <laughs> So there's another tip right there. Instead of nabbing things away from our birds or taking things away, try to trade for something a little bit better. I'm gonna try a different object real quick just because Cressy is pretty uh, decent ties. I'm gonna try my sunglasses. Nope, doesn't care. All right, let's try something scarier. My keychain. This is pretty freaky, right? No, okay. All right, Cressy's a bad example. She's super desensitized already. So. Hopefully your bird reacts like she does and takes every new object with ease. Um, most birds, however, will be fearful of new objects. There's even birds that are fearful of new toys that you put in their cage that are meant for them to destroy. They might be totally terrified and avoid that section of the cage for a while. We want to create adaptable, brave birds so that they can easily adapt to new toys, start destroying things, and just live in our homes more harmoniously and not be terrified of their surroundings. Blue to the berry. Do you have more to say? <laughs> berry, berry, blue. Would you like so some more ways that you can do this is by training that step up on somebody else is a trained trick. So making sure that when you put them on somebody's hand, I'll pretend my other hand is somebody's hand, and then you ask them to come back to you, you give a treat for coming back to you off of them. We do this for picture taking and things like that for our birds, but training that step up on somebody else is a trick and it's a trained behavior will make socialization really easy. That way your bird isn't nervous about how much time they have to spend on that stranger. If you need to extend the amount of time, I will sometimes put a treat right into their beak while they're on somebody's hand just to give them a little extra time to snap that picture. But for the most part, we don't have other people giving food or giving treat rewards to our birds. That always comes from us when they come back to us. One way to expose your bird to new places is through either a carrier with that is clear so they can see out of it, or you can do it in a backpack. There's lots of cool birdie backpacks on the market today. You can also take them out in netted areas or in aviaries in that way. Are you getting hormonal? I hear it. Uh, that way they get exposed safely to new places, but taking them with you to places is a great way to socialize them and get them to be a little bit more brave. I think you gotta go because you are getting super hormonal. Don't you just love fall when birds are getting hormonal? That'll be a totally different video. You're flying and then you're immediately going into it. All oh, girl. Can you go upside down? Yay! Good girl, Chrissy. Okay. How about I go hang out on the foraging tree? Sorry, Blueberry. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> you guys will notice through using this noun experience training technique that as you slowly desensitize your bird, it's going to become easier and easier of a process to do. I demonstrate this in my Morgan series over on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash bird tricks. You can check it out with Morgan. She is a Camelot macaw born with a foot defect and I wanted to teach her to fly outside. In order to do that, you have to do a lot of desensitization so that the bird is not easily spooked by things. And so I used a lot of different objects if you need to see this type of training in real life and how it is used and what it looks like. So I highly recommend a lot of desensitization training. Try to do one new thing a day. That is really the goal. Now remember that overcoming fear and discomfort is taxing mentally on your bird. So you don't want these sessions to go incredibly long, but you wanna make sure that you make progress and you end on a really positive note of teaching your bird to just be a braver bird. And like I said, the more you do this, the more easy it will come and the more accepting your bird will be of all new people, new places, and new objects and things. If you guys have done any sort of type of this training before, leave a comment below and let me know how it went, what you had success with, what your bird's biggest fear is. And remember, start small. Do not start with your bird's biggest fear. If you know that your bird is fearful of a certain color or a certain object, don't start with that. Start with things that aren't even similar to that and build that bird's confidence and work your way up to the end goal. 
A big thank you to Sharon for letting me do a YouTube channel takeover and featuring me on her channel today. If you guys wanna hop over and subscribe to my channel, it's youtube.com forward slash Bertrix to see more of Cressy and the rest of my flock. Thanks again for watching this video. Leave a comment below with how it helped you and what kind of bird you have. I'm super curious to read those comments and stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks, Sharon Zoo Crew. Can you wave to him? Yeah.